Okay, um, decision maths then goes on to looking at uh, graph theory. And a lot of the algorithms that we're going to be working with originate, or rather not originate, but uh, work around the concepts of graph theory. Now, if you uh, heard graph theory and you've never done decision maths before, um, it's nothing to do with the X, Y graphs that you would be used to. Um, graphs, in this case, are a selection of vertices and edges. And it really originated um, through one of its pioneers, uh, Leonard Euler. And he is well known um, for many different branches of mathematics, but one, one of the concepts where graph theory came from and where decision maths came from is through the Bridges of Konigsberg problem. Now, Konigsberg is a city that was part of the Soviet Union and um, it had this land masses river running through uh, the city and it had a separate island and you can see that the land masses were connected, these four land masses, were connected by several bridges that I've drawn in red. Okay, and there was a an idea, or rather a bet, to see whether if you started at, on one of the land masses, could you visit all of the other land masses, okay, and travel along each bridge but only once. And in order to solve this problem, what Euler did was he looked at, well, let's call, put this landmass, this part, as one single point, and then this landmass as another point, and this one as another, and finally the fourth point there, okay? And then you can join up the points with the bridges. So this bottom one is connected to the island by two separate bridges, and it's connected to this part by one bridge. The island itself is connected to this landmass by these two bridges, and is connected to this one. And this landmass is connected to the island by the two bridges, and finally that one using that bridge, okay? So you can kind of simplify the problem down to just considering, can you start at one vertex, travel along all the edges, okay, precisely once, and visiting each of the islands? Now, if you try that, um, for example, you might start here, and travel along this edge, then this edge, then that edge, then that edge, then that edge, and you get to a point where you could either travel along this one or this one, okay, and then you wouldn't be able to travel along the other one. So I go over here, and then I would have to repeat one of the edges, one of the bridges, okay? So Euler came up with a way of uh, solving this problem, which kind of gave birth to graph theory as we know it now. So in the next few videos, what I'll be doing in this chapter of videos, if you will, is really going through the key concepts, the key words, what they mean and what you need to know. Okay? There are quite a few key words, so it's best to take notes and to make sure you keep revising this topic. Okay? Because otherwise, um, you will struggle with this question come the exam.